Porsche Fields surely grew nervous this past year as the GT3 went on hiatus from the lineup while the 911 family was updated and turbocharged from top to bottom. Fans worried whether the GT3 would lose its wailing, high revving flat six, muffling its song and fury with a turbocharger, or that the manual transmission would stay dead at the altar of modernization. None of that has happened. Porsche has reaffirmed the GT3's appeal by adding a manual transmission back to the car's roster, as had been heavily insinuated, and dropping a larger displacement flat six into its tail. Not to minimize the effort involved, but the 2018 911 GT3 really is just an intelligent combination of existing parts. The 4.0-liter six-pack, which replaces the old GT3's 3.8-liter unit, is borrowed from the hardcore outgoing 911 GT3 RS. The six-speed manual transmission, a no-cost option, the PDK is standard, was borrowed from the ultra-limited production 911R, a model itself cobbled together from the GT3 RS's 4.0-liter engine and the hopes and dreams of Porsche fanatics crazy for a stick shift. Gauging how the 911 GT3 will accelerate in the real world is tough to estimate. We tested the hardcore R, and it reached 60 miles per hour in 3.4 seconds. Thus we suspect the 2018 GT3 will outpace Porsche's claims, if only just. Either way, the GT3 is about more than straight-line acceleration. Porsche has kept the rear-wheel steering system of the 2014 GT3. The setup can steer the rear wheels either with or against the front wheels to sharpen turn and enhance high-speed stability. Dynamic engine mounts do their part to lock down the engine in high G-corners and stabilize the handling, and an electronically controlled limited slip rear differential helps deliver the mighty engine's torque to the pavement. <laughs>